The Ghadar Party Punjabi, Ghadara Parati was an Indian revolutionary organization primarily founded by Punjabis. The party was multi-ethnic and had Sikh, Hindu and Muslim leaders. The party was headquartered in San Francisco, United States. Key members included Bai Parmanand, Sohan Singh Bakna, Bhagwan Singh Gyani, Har Dayal, Muhammad Iqbal Shide, Kartar Singh Saraba, Abdul Hafiz Muhammad Barakatullah, Sulaman Chowdhury, Amir Chowdhury, Rashbihari Bose and Gulab Kaur. After the outbreak of World War I, Ghadar party members returned to Punjab to agitate for rebellion alongside the Babur Akali movement. In 1915 they conducted revolutionary activities in central Punjab and organized uprisings. Their presence challenged the hold of the British Empire, police surveillance in Punjabi villages increased in an attempt to crush the rebellion. The party is known for setting the foundation for future Indian revolutionary movements and served as a stepping stone for independence. Though predominantly Sikh, the party included members and leaders of many religions, demonstrating an pluralistic and democratic attitude towards all Indians. After the conclusion of the war, the party in the United States was fractured into a communist and an anti-communist faction. The party was formally dissolved in 1948. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology Ghadar is an Urdu word derived from Arabic which means revolt or rebellion, as Kartar Singh Saraba, one of the founders of the party, wrote in the first issue, Today there begins Ghadar in foreign lands, but in our country's tongue, a war against the British Raj. What is our name? Ghadar. What is our work? Ghadar. Where will be the revolution? In India. The time will soon come when rifles and blood will take the place of pens and ink. The name of the organization was primarily spelled Gadar Party or Ghadr Party by its members. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. The economic downturn in India during the early 20th century witnessed a high level of emigration. Some of these emigrants settled in North America. These included Punjabis as well as people from other parts of India. The Canadian government decided to curtail this influx with a series of laws, which were aimed at limiting the entry of South Asians into the country and restricting the political rights of those already in the country. The Punjabi community had hitherto been an important loyal force for the British Empire and the community had expected, equal welcome and rights from the British and Commonwealth governments as extended to British and white immigrants. These laws fed growing discontent, protests and anti-colonial sentiments within the community. Faced with increasingly difficult situations, the community began organizing itself into political groups. A large number of Punjabis also moved to the United States, but they encountered similar political and social problems. Rasbihari Bose on request from Vishnu Ganesh Pingal, an American-trained Ghadar, who met Bose at Benares and requested him to take up the leadership of the coming revolution. But before accepting the responsibility, he sent Sachin Sanyal to the Punjab to assess the situation. Sachin returned very optimistic, in the United States and Canada with the aim to liberate India from British rule. The movement began with a group of immigrants known as the Hindustani Workers of the Pacific Coast. The Ghadar Party, initially the Pacific Coast Hindustan Association, was formed in 1913 in the United States under the leadership of Har Dayal, San Baba Wasaka Singh Dadehar, Baba Jawala Singh, Santok Singh and Sohan Singh Bakna as its president. The members of the party were Indian immigrants, largely from Punjab. Many of its members were students at University of California at Berkeley including Dayal, Tarak Nath Das, Malavi Barkatula, Harnam Singh Tundilat, Kartar Singh Saraba and V.G. Pingal. The party quickly gained support from Indian expatriates, especially in the United States, Canada, East Africa and Asia. Newspaper <inaudible> 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 The party was built around the weekly paper The Ghadar, which carried the caption on the masthead, Angrezi Raj Ka Dushman an enemy of the British rule, wanted brave soldiers, the Ghadar declared, to stir up rebellion in India, pay death, price martyrdom, pension liberty, field of battle India. The ideology of the party was strongly secular. 
In the words of Sohan Singh Bakna, who later became a major peasant leader of the Punjab, "...we were not Sikhs or Punjabis. Our religion was patriotism." The first issue of the Ghadar, was published from San Francisco on November 1, 1913. Following the voyage of the Kamagata Maru Guru Nanak in 1914, a direct challenge to Canadian anti-Indian immigration laws, several thousand Indians resident in the United States sold their business and homes ready to drive the British from India. However, Hardale had fled to Europe concerned that the U.S. authorities would hand him over to the British. Sohan Singh Bakna was already in British hands, and the leadership fell to Ram Chandra. Following the entry of Canada into World War I, the organization was centered in the USA and received substantial funding from the German government. They had a very militant tone, as illustrated by this quote from Harnam Singh. No pundits or mullahs do we need the party rose to prominence in the second decade of the 20th century, and grew in strength owing to Indian discontent over World War I and the lack of political reforms. Ghadar activists undertook what the British described as political terrorism. Ghadar activists were responsible for bombs planted on government property. In 1917 some of their leaders were arrested and put on trial in the Hindu-German conspiracy trial in which their paper was quoted. In 1914, Kasi Ram Joshi a member of the party from Haryana, returned to India from America. On 15 March 1915 he hanged to death by the colonial rule. The Ghadar party commanded a loyal following the province of Punjab, but many of its most prominent activists were forced into exile to Canada and the United States. It ceased to play an active role in Indian politics after 1919. The party had active members in other countries such as Mexico, Japan, China, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Malaya, Indochina and Eastern and Southern Africa. Founding members Sohan Singh Bakna, President Kesar Singh, Vice President Kartar Singh Saraba, Editor, Punjabi Gadar Baba Jawala Singh, Vice President San Baba Wisaka Singh Dadehar Bhagwan Singh Gyani Balwant Singh, Gadarite P.T. Kanchi Ram, Treasurer Harnam Singh Tundalit G. D. Verma Lala Thakur Das Dari, Vice Secretary Munshi Ram Organizing Secretary Bai Parmanand Nidin Singh Chugga Santok Singh Gadarite, Master Udham Singh Baba Chatter Singh Aluwalia Jethawal, Baba Harnam Singh Kari Sari, Mangu Ram Mugawalia Karim Bash Amar Chand Remat Ali Goderite. VG. Pingal San Baba Wisaka Singh Malavi Barkatula Harnam Singh Saini Tarak Nath Das Pandurang Sadashiv Kankoye Ganda Singh Fangora Bai Randir Singh Karim Bucks Baba Prithvi Singh Azad Wadawa Singh Warwal and Sons Rana Singh and Bana Singh In popular media A character in the World War II thriller The Tenth Unknown by author J. Vallant Nalan Sampit is a member of the Ghadar Party and is involved in the Ghadar Mutiny. See also Ghadar Mutiny Communist Ghadar Party of India Hindu-German Conspiracy